Welcome back everyone, David here. Today's game review is Eyes in the Dark. After completing the game, here are my thoughts about the game. This game is a roguelike, meaning every time your character dies, you have to start all over from the beginning. Your character is Victoria. She's searching for her grandpa. She has a flashlight to damage the shadow creatures. She also has a dash move and also a slingshot that fires grenades of light. Every enemy you destroy will leave these shiny sparks. Please collect them or opening furniture, or in some rooms, a piggy bank you can break to release these shiny sparks. These can be used to open slots to equip more effects items for your character, your flashlight, or your slingshot. There are three types of items you can equip. For your flashlight weapon, you can have it to flash bolt, or a burst of light, or light bubbles, or a laser beam, or a flamethrower. You can, you can only have one of them equipped. You can also increase the damage or deal burn damage of your flashlight. Character can have more speed, more dashes, more jumps, or hover in the air for a little bit. An item you find you don't have room, you can break it for some sparkly money. Each of the nine floors will have a few rooms and three types of doors. One door will have a gear. You can pick up up to three random items for your character, your flashlight, or slingshot. This is also a good spot so you can grind sometimes some extra sparks because some enemies will appear here sometimes. The next door will have a crow so you can buy in the Edgar the crow shop some items to heal. A healing item will increase the more you use it but it will return back to its original price on the next floor. And last is the door with locks with a spider on it. That is the guardian bug. They are somewhat challenging sometimes because mostly fire projectiles, others summon other bugs and some are a combination of both and sometimes two bosses at the same time you have to face. Depends on the gear you have, burn damage works the best. Now over to the downside of the game, somewhat after you, the first floor, every other floor you're about to enter, you have to click one of three rewards with a negative side effect. Have more dash but disables the map. Map locations of the map are revealed but lose sparks every time you get hit. That one is the worst one, please do not select that one you will lose all your money really fast. You don't really take that much damage with the normal creatures, even with the bosses sometimes. Every time you complete a floor, you will earn these points. When your character dies, you will be rewarded. You can later unlock some goodies before you start your run to have available in the shop or treasure chest. I did clear six floors and all I got was 27 points. The reward system is a very, very low sometimes, I would say. So you have to grind. Most of, the, most of the good items cost 30 points to 80 points. Of course, not all of them are very useful. Around 40% of these are very useful. The, the, the rest of the 60% don't even bother unlocking them. You have to be very wise on what you unlock and what you spend your points on. I played the game for around 24 hours. I only found one error with a boss. It did not die. You can see the bar is totally full and it should be dead, but it's not. But on the second time, I did defeat it. So that was the only bug. Well, technically it is a bug, but it, uh, you get the idea. The first time you clear the first three floors, you will have access to four, five, and six floors. But you have to start all over again. That means adios to your awesome gear. And when you clear six floors, the same. You have to start all over. And then you have to do all nine floors in a row. Overall, the final score, I would... this game is an 8 out of 10. system is low in my concern, yet unlike other roguelike games, this game has character development plus animation, cinemas. Yeah, they may be black and white, but it does give it a retro awesome look. Try out the demo before you buy it if you have second thoughts, but definitely this is a good roguelike game for any fan of this genre.